Thank you for checking out this video. Today I have as my guest Susanna. She's a mother who's using a pseudonym to protect herself and her family's identity. When you hear what she has to say, you will understand very clearly why she feels she has to do this. Susanna and I are going to have a discussion about her experience as a mother of a child who has rapid onset gender dysphoria, and she would also like to make a statement to the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario. My name is Susanna, and I'm the parent of a teenage daughter who has suddenly become convinced that she is a boy. I am sounding the alarm. We are in the midst of a major psychic epidemic. Our most vulnerable children and young adults most of whom have pre-existing psychosocial issues, are acquiring the false belief that they are transgender. The medical and psychological communities, our educational institutions, and the media are all perpetuating and reinforcing this acquired false belief. As a result, our children are undergoing major, unnecessary medical interventions that will cause permanent physical damage and psychological trauma, all at the hands of the very professionals they turn to for help. I am calling on the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario to impose an immediate moratorium on all the prescribing of hormone blockers and cross-sex hormones, as well as a moratorium on all sex reassignment, also called sex-affirming surgeries, on children and young adults under the age of 25, pending a review of the safety and efficacy of these treatments and a review of the practices of the so-called gender clinics involved. Now, you may well be asking, who am I to make such a bold demand of the college? I am the mother of four teenagers and young adults, three of whom are happy, healthy, and successfully making their way in their lives. Unfortunately, one of my daughters had severe emotional and social issues starting at the onset of adolescence and just recently decided that she was transgender. I have a Bachelor of Science degree and a Bachelor of Education. And my husband, who is also helping me, has a background in medical research. And I am not alone. I am part of a core group of parents whose children, mainly teenagers and young adults, have also what researchers are now called rapid onset gender dysphoria, or ROGD. We have joined together to create the website parentsofrogdkids.com. And through the website, we have received over 300 emails from other parents of kids with ROGD. So you could say, I am speaking for over 300 parents whose children have acquired rapid onset gender dysphoria. In addition, I am conducting a survey of the parents who reach out to our website. To date, I have almost 150 responses, and the picture that's emerging is frightening. The results of my survey are stark. I would be happy to share my results with the college. But I encourage the college to conduct an audit of their own. Please audit the medical records of all youth receiving hormone blockers, cross-sex hormones, or sex reassignment surgeries in the province of Ontario and see for yourself. There is no convincing evidence that socially and medically transitioning children is beneficial. And in fact, my survey results would indicate the exact opposite is true. Socially and medically transitioning, rapid onset gender dysphoric kids is severely deleterious to their physical and mental health. The motives for transitioning our children are based in political ideology rather than in sound evidence-based medicine. There is a culture war going on in our society today that Dr. Peterson would call the postmodern neo-Marxists attempting to force their views on us and silence other opinions using threats and intimidation on anyone, including and especially professionals who dare to speak out. The culture war has spilled out of the universities and into our psychologists and medical practices. And our ROGD kids are the first casualties. I have one last message to Joe Rogan, Dave Rubin, Ben Shapiro, Dr. Peterson, and all the other independent, free-thinking YouTubers out there. The mainstream media largely ignores us. If they do write about us, it is only to paint us as transphobic bigots who just can't accept the reality that their children are transgender. 
Now there are a few notable exceptions like Barbara Kay and Alex Pearson. And so we have to turn to the quote intellectual dark web for help. Ultimately, I am just a very, very worried mother desperately trying to protect my daughter from harm at the hands of politically motivated transgender ideologues and their self-promoting, greedy, unethical henchmen in the medical profession. This is the only way I could think of to do it. Will you please help?